Hey friends, just swooping on in real quick to remind you to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and I'm thinking that I'm going to start posting videos every Thursday. So if you like that idea, comment down below, let me know, like this video, and here we'll get right into it. All right, first we've got this fun little b-roll reel of my bathroom. It won't really look too much different from the outside, but thought it was worth putting in there. Oh, hey, look, there's me filming. Wow, how quirky and original. Underneath this cabinet here is really where things start getting a little bit, a lot of control. I'll go into a little depth about my organizational thoughts with these baskets in a sec, but as you can see, my organizational skills didn't really pan out too well. Then we have this little organizer over here for towels and my giant bag of who the f knows what is in there from the last 10 years of my life that I've carried around. Maybe not 10 years, but like, Oof. I've had I have had this thing for a while. <laughs> I have this little container for my nail polish. The thing I blurred was just like an old medicine. I just didn't want to. I don't know. I just didn't want to show that. It's like personal. <laughs> also, I have all my heated hair products that not products. Like I literally do not know the word for what to call these. Your ha the hair curlers, flat irons. Like isn't there like a name for all of them altogether? I don't know. I literally can't show you like anything that's in here because it's all like medication, old medications and stuff that says, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it says anything bad, but I know you're not supposed to show it, so I'm not going to. But I have a couple of these toiletry makeup holder situations. I don't know, I haven't used them in a while. So they're a little bit dusty. I have to give those a little love. An old shower curtain that got <laughs> poorly DIY'd and then forgotten about. Couple little miscellaneous items, some Halloween leftovers. This hair thing I completely copied from my sister Darby. All idea credit goes to her, but it's just a paper towel roll, and that's how you can organize your scrunchies and your headbands and hair ties of all different sorts and kinds. All right, first thing you want to do: take everything out. That's the first step in my 10 step program for a, <laughs> for a clean bathroom. So I got everything out that I wanted to get out. Vacuumed all around. And then this is my favorite part. You got, I just went through everything and decided what are things that I need, what things are just actual trash, what things are duplicates, what things are expired, etc. Um, I also, a good way to reuse those little bags that you get when you order things, you can just put, I don't know, you can use them for organizing things in your bathroom. Also, I just wanted to say that I did a video with Sincere Sally and they messed up my analytics because they like, I don't know, they, I feel like they sent, put a bunch of bots on the video to make them get, to make it get a bunch of views. I don't know. I don't know. You didn't hear it from me, but it was weird. It wasn't me. If you, <laughs> if you see that, it wasn't me. Oh, thinking about throwing that away? No, no, no. You have to recycle. I'm gonna put my travel sized things to the side as well and put them in a separate thing. I have this little container that I'm gonna clean out and use for storage also. I just thought it looked cluttered on the counter. And then I got a bunch of these face scrubs from TJ Maxx like a, like two years ago or a year ago. And I've just noticed, I've just been trying to look at the ingredients list more and if alcohol is like, it's just literally, it's water and alcohol are like the only two things in here. And like that is not cleansing for my skin. No, thank you, I'm gonna chuck that out. I actually, you know, take it out. <laughs> rinse it out and recycle it if you can. Also, if you didn't know, every beauty product, makeup product, things like that, to know the shelf life for the expiration date, there's the little little container that'll tell you in there. Mine, that one says 6M, which is six months, so that one's definitely out ski. These little waxing strips I tried, they did not work for shit. Nothing worked at all. So, and I've had them for like, oh, I've had them for like two years, so I'm like, I'm not gonna use them. This sh do not use this product, please. It literally 
bleached my skin. It changed my skin color. No, it was weird. Like, oh my God, no, it stung super bad. So I took it off and then my skin was a different color. If I have a photo. All right, so I have my everyday use products in here so that it's easier. I like having less counter space. So this way you can just pull a drawer up to the counter use whatever you need to use in there and then easily put everything back away. It's just a lot more efficient to me, you know? So this top one has regular like toothbrush, toothpaste, contacts, like regular toiletry type of things. And then the bottom one has my makeup products. I have all these old makeups that I don't, I don't know. I feel like I could upgrade my makeup so much but I just don't I don't really wear it that often and I have all my makeup brushes too so this is also a good time to clean my makeup brushes it's just so easy to neglect cleaning your makeup brushes so since no I don't wear makeup super often so since I don't a lot of the time if I use a brush or my beauty blender the product will just end up sitting there for a really long time so I don't know reminder to clean your makeup brushes all right so I organized everything and started putting things back in so this is Start, get creative with your containers. So this container is a really good idea. I showed you that a way to contain your hair ties as well. And then I have this plastic container for all the perfumes that I only have like one spray left of that I I uh, just refuse to get rid of for some reason, so now I'm making it a point to like use all of them. And even at this point, I've already used all of one of them, so I've already made some progress. Thank you, no need to pat me on the back. other makeup brushes out of the other bag real quick and then now I'm gonna clean my makeup brushes if you don't know how to clean makeup brushes the way that and uh, I guess beauty blenders too the way that I always do have learned to do it is that you just get a bar of soap and you pretty much just paint the soap or brush into the soap in um, a bunch of different directions squeeze the water out with your fingers try not to get the water like directly into the handle of the of the brush because it's not good for it but same thing beauty blender you just like squish it all out um, make sure the soap gets all the way through it and then rinsed all the way out and just lay them on a towel to dry overnight and they should be good in the morning I also have these reusable uh, travel sized things. I guess you can put anything you want in them, lotion or I don't know, anything. I put shampoo and conditioner in mine for my last trip that I went on, I guess, and I just never uh, cleaned them out. So I went ahead and cleaned those out as well and let those dry. I highly recommend you get something, one of those though, because it, it'll save you a lot of money on containers and it saves a lot of plastic and yeah just get like one big product, one big thing of shampoo and then put in like a little bottle to travel with instead of buying a separate travel sized one, you know? All right, I did a last look through through this bag, but now it is time to give everything its place. So I put my nail polish stuff on the bottom. This bag is gonna go on top of that. Next, I took all of these towels out and put them back in. All of these towels are clean, but also at this time, I took all of the dirty towels and started running those through the wash. All of the ones that I haven't cleaned with yet, because I'm gonna clean with a couple as well. I just wanted, I can fold all of these towels all into one side and then you can fit everything else into the other side. I just like, I don't know, I'm trying to be more efficient with the space, you know? Alright, the next day, I'm back. I've got all of my things are dry, so I've went ahead and put the makeup brushes down into that brush holder where they belong. I 
did some finishing cleaning touches in the bathroom. I cleaned up the toilet, cleaned the countertops. Clean the soap holder. Swept the floor. Mop the floor. Put a clean rug back. Sprayed some spray, and here is the grand reveal. clean bathroom that's organized from top to bottom. Now it's time to light a candle, draw a bath, or just dance around in my bathroom because I just organized the shit out of this place and I'm proud of myself. Also, my, oh my gosh, my hair is getting so long, but I also need a haircut? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching. If you watched all the way through, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm pretty sure I'm going to start doing Thursdays and Sundays as my posting days. I'm thinking Thursdays and maybe Sundays kind of a thing. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. Comment down below what you thought about this video, what you want to see next, and I'll see you next time. See you later.